So if you're like me, you're probably a really big Yo Cal fan. Um, I follow their Instagram accounts, I follow their fighters, I watch their stories. Um, so if you're like me, you probably want their stuff. Uh, these are the Yokao Carbon Fit Muay Thai shorts. And I've had these for two years and this for one year. So I, just like my other review videos um, on my channel, I'll just go from top to bottom and see what I find. Um, actually, you know, before talking about what I find, I wanna talk about my measurements and how they'll fit you. That's probably what you care about the most, right? Um, I'm 5'5". Five five. I am definitely a little bit overweight. Uh, I weigh about 173 pounds and it, my measurements are um, underbelly is 39 or so inches, uh, roundest part of the belly is 40 inches, right? So definitely get your sizing charts there. Um, I would say that the sizing chart for 38 and plus is for 4XL, right? And the one I bought is, can you even see it? 2XL. 2XL is recommended for someone with a 34 inch waist. Um, and I do wear 34 inch waist pants, but I could also just really like tight pants. But anyways, I do like this fit. Um, if there's one thing you get from this video is that you could always buy just one size higher than you think. And there's a drawstring that you can use to tighten the pants that I've actually never pulled. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's a drawstring. So with the Fitment, I also wanted to talk about what I felt when I first wore them. Uh, there are these like openings, by the way, which expose more of your leg. And just note that between the crotch and the edge of the pants, it's like not that much, uh, not that much length, right? So, so be aware that these are actually gonna be probably short on you, right? Um, short, like, like, like your legs are gonna be exposed, right? Uh, the first time I wore these and I walked from my apartment to my car, I felt actually kind of embarrassed because I thought I was showing too much leg. Um, now, like nowadays, now that I'm used to them, I feel really cool in them. I feel like, like my kicks are cooler or like I, I have more flexibility when I click kick because there's nothing in the way. Um, but I will say that if I go to like a regular weightlifting gym, my friends definitely comment that these are pretty short. Okay, so with that, let's just go from uh, side to side, top to bottom. Um, you already heard that there's a drawstring in here, but it's elastic, right? Um, so it's probably gonna fit you whether you get a size too large or not. Um, there is a yoke cow um, stitching on here. It's, it's kind of like a fabric that's on top of the pants. Um, it hasn't come off. The colors have not gone away. There's no open threads that I can see. So you can see on the inside, there's a tag. Um, the tag says, 100%, it's not gonna focus, maybe, but 100% polyester made in Thailand. Um, I wash these in the washing machine, no problem. I dry them in the dryer, no problem. Um, to, des to describe the feeling, they feel, they feel like the pants that you would have, they're kind of slick. They feel kind of like the pants that you would have if you had like rain resistant gear. Um, they feel kind of like swimming trunks. Uh, I, just, I, I do wanna say that they probably aren't swimming trunks. Now, when I went to Phuket and PP Island, I wore these into the beach and I noticed that uh, my friend's swimming trunks dried a lot faster than mine. So, hmm. So here, so you can see at the front where it says Yokao, there's these like little silver things kind of dangling out. This whole thing used to be silver and over time it's kind of scraped away. Now, if you see my other uh, gear review with Yokao stuff, like generally it's held up. I will say that this is not really held up um, over time and to, to compare it real quick to a newer one, the one that I've had for one year, um, this is what it looks like. It's, I mean, even this is starting to tear up, it looks like, right? But this silver stuff probably won't last. Um, and in the other one, <laughs> not only does the silver stuff not last and the stuff under it, but it looks like even whatever this is, is starting to chip away. Now this is mesh underneath it. I don't know what that is. I don't know how pants are made, but it does not show through. Um, so the actual letters look like they're stitched on pretty nice, but the stuff on top might might deteriorate over time. I will say that um, the right side is deteriorated, but the left side is like fully intact or kind of mostly intact. And maybe it's because I tend to clinch on my right side and this kind of rubs up against the bag or the person, um, whatever, right? 
The next thing that I want to say, actually, now that I think about it, is these ones in particular. I'm gonna pop. I'm gonna pop the image on the screen. They look more green on the on the site, but they're more blue in real life. Maybe I bought the wrong ones. Maybe they shipped me the wrong ones. But just take note of that. For these ones in particular, the color is a little off. For all the other ones, the colors are spot on. Um, in the back, there's like it's like a I don't know what it is. It's like a thick fabric right here. Um, but it looks high quality. <laughs> it makes the pants look more high quality. There, along the legs, there is this like black, I don't know what it is, but it's like a strip of cloth. I feel like it really makes a, the pants pop and accent out a little bit. Are they stretchy? No, they're not. <laughs> um, what else? So you have the logo here. This is like a patch, a cloth patch similar to, actually it's not similar to this one. It's like a cloth patch. Um, stitched on pretty good, it's held up. No problem. Um, is there anything else that comes with these pants? Let me see the other ones just in case. Yeah, so those two I've had for two years. Now this one that I've had for a year, there's some little like threads kind of popping off a little bit, but, but I don't know. Oh, I see a little bit of black there or something. I don't know what that is. Um, I don't think it's me. I feel like it might look like paint. Um, Maybe it came that way, I don't remember. But this one actually is a little bit more fuzzy, um, fuzzier than the other ones. This is a newer one. Um, I will say that like, these are my favorite ones. These these like rainbow ones, I think they look sick. I get like compliments on these ones all the time. So if you're looking at these ones like how I did, definitely get them. Um, you can see here on the O, the thread is kind of like coming out a little bit. So in conclusion, you know, like just remember that these are, you know, just pants, right? But at the same time, like Yokao, the whole thing behind Yokao is they wanted to revolutionize the gear industry in Muay Thai. And like, particularly like, this is a different style of pants than your traditional Muay Thai pants. The fabric is different, the look is different. And, and, and they feel more high quality than the traditional Muay Thai ones you would find outside the stadiums or on the Bangkok night markets that are probably knock off anyways. The stitching looks a lot better than the ones I've seen where it says lumpy knee on top of it, it looks kind of cheap. These look solid. Um, if there's ever the pants to get, I would get these ones. If you have the money, they run a little expensive, um, but I recommend these, definitely get them. They'll make you kick better. Uh, with that, if you have any questions, you know, please give me a comment because I respond to these pretty quick. I have most of their gear. The videos are already up of my reviews of their other gear. Uh, but anyways, if you like the video, give it a like, give it a share, tell your friends, give a comment, whatever, subscribe. Um, let me know what else you guys want to watch uh, with that. Uh, sorry about the COVID hair. I hope you guys are staying safe and training hard. Thanks.